What's up everyone, my name is Dr. Daniel Ricciardi. I'm a functional medicine practitioner, licensed pharmacist, and fitness enthusiast. I help clients with bloating, gas, and other similar symptoms that come up from small intestinal bacterial overgrowth and other gut-related conditions. This video is gonna be for people that are either about to try a SIBO treatment protocol for the first time, or maybe they've been trying things for a while and haven't had any success. And the reason I wanna make this video is because I've been reading a lot of things online and through talking to people, I'm getting a sense that there's a huge misunderstanding on what it takes to truly get rid of SIBO and take care of the symptoms. So the ugly truth about it is treating SIBO, it just, it takes a really long time to do. This is normal. It's not like treating a sinus infection or something else like that. Two to four rounds of treatment, whether it be antibiotics, elemental diet, antimicrobial herbs, this is normal. And two to four rounds, a round of herbs is four to six weeks. Like this is easily, it take months to do. Adding on to this, the number one reason I see that treatment does not work out is simply not being patient enough with it. All right, picture this for example. Let's say, well, hopefully this doesn't ever happen to you, or maybe it actually has. Let's say you're driving down the street and you run out of gas. There's a gas station that's down the road a little bit, but in order to get there, you have to push the car to the gas station. So you get out, you walk around the back of the car and you start pushing and you're pushing as hard as you can. And this car is not budging. Maybe it's bigger than a car, maybe it's a truck. Either way, it's not moving. Your family member that's sitting in the passenger seat, they wanna help too. So they get out, they walk around the back of the truck. They start pushing as well. Still, this thing's not moving an inch. Fortunately though, somebody's walking down the street, they see that you need help. They come up to the back of the truck and they start pushing as hard as they can as well. Nothing happens at first, but then slowly the wheels start to creak and turn the slightest bit. And then before you know it, you're moving at a decent clip down the road to the gas station. Even though it wasn't till when the third person showed up that the car was able to move, does that mean that the work that you did and the work that your family member did was not valuable, was not critical to the car moving? Obviously not. This ties into SIBO treatment as well. There's nothing to say that the amount of gas that you reduced in the intestines in the first round, the second round of treatment or so forth, wasn't critical for you to getting to the point where now when you're down the road a little bit in treatment, you finally are able to have a breakthrough and not have symptoms. Another thing I wanna to touch on is just having realistic expectations for the timeline and how long it takes to kind of do something like this that's significant. For example, if you compare it to maybe you want to get a promotion at work or you want to work out so your body looks a certain way by next year or something like that, and if somebody told you it would take six months to do that, what would you say? You'd probably jump at the opportunity. Okay, like I know this is a significant accomplishment that I'm working toward. I'm willing to put the time and focus into doing it for an extended period of time. So I want people to consider treating SIBO kind of in the same light. It's definitely super easy to get very frustrated if you look and you see people that are able to do the treatment and it works quickly, whereas you've been trying stuff for a while and you're still really struggling. But I think it's important to not compare yourself to other people, understand everyone's body's different and you're gonna respond to the treatments differently. And it's normal to take a significant more time for a lot of people. And then there's just kind of randomly trying things without a structured plan. On one hand, for a lot of things, just learning by doing and kind of jumping before you feel ready is fantastic to do because that's one of the best ways to learn. And if you try to learn everything before you take action, you'll freeze and nothing will get done. On the other hand though, it can be very helpful to know what you're doing before you get started. There's a ton of info out on the internet and everywhere on treating SIBO. Some is bad, some is really good. I try as hard as I possibly can, as hard as I possibly can to give the most up-to-date and the most accurate information to you so you know exactly what you should be doing. But I do frequently see people either trying 50% of a treatment regimen and going about that without doing the whole treatment regimen or trying something for three or four days and noticing they don't feel any different and giving up on it. 
And I do think it's very helpful in many cases to have a set plan, to have a structured plan that you can follow, not have to think about it, not have to wonder, okay, I'm a week into doing this and I don't feel any different, or maybe I feel worse. Do I just forget about doing this altogether? And then lastly, there's just lost hope from having SIBO for so long and the limiting beliefs that kind of are roped into that as well, just with having tried certain things in the past and then not thinking anything in the future could ever work. I know from experience, putting your heart and soul into trying to get better and not feeling better even after doing that, it's very discouraging. And if this is you, you're not alone. Many other people have dealt with this and are still dealing with it. Ultimately though, you're the only one accountable for fixing the situation and getting better. So if you have tried many things in the past, it's possible that you are very skeptical that the next thing that comes along or the next thing that you hear that somebody swears by is the best, you'll be skeptical that it probably won't work. However, it's still important and in many ways completely necessary that you truly believe that you can get better before you're able to start healing your SIBO symptoms. And now just to kind of wrap up, I just have a quick story to share that kind of ties in everything that we've been talking about previously. I treated a patient for SIBO this past year, and long story short, she's doing great now, symptoms are gone and whatnot. However, during the time, it was anything but smooth sailing. I think we did, I think five rounds of treatment, and it wasn't until during the fifth one that she saw a significant improvement in the symptoms. So before that though, especially after the first one, after the second one didn't work, had a lot of skepticism and anything would ever work, a lot of doubt that she's making any progress at all, and even wanted to quit multiple times. However, because she stuck it out, I think it's only due to her persistence and wherewithal and whatever else you want to call it, only for those reasons that she is where she is today and is feeling a lot better. Obviously, I don't wish five rounds of treatment on anybody, but sometimes it's necessary if you want to truly get rid of this. All right, thanks for watching. That is everything for today. Again, these are just some situations and scenarios that I've been seeing a lot of, hearing a lot about. Uh, maybe this resonates with you, maybe it does not. Uh, I just wanted to share a few thoughts that I had on it and maybe provide a little bit of inspiration. That is everything. Uh, take care and have a great week.